technicians here. Um, I'm going to show you how to put an e-collar back on um, had you ever had to take one off. Um, we normally do send these home with our surgical patients um, as well as for other cases where your pet may have a wound of some sort. Anything where the veterinarian would recommend that we keep this on. Um, so we didn't need to take it off. Um, so we've got it off here. Um, now we're going to have to put it back on. So the only way that it goes on <laughs> uh, we're going to slip it directly over her head here. Um, so we do want to make sure that we're careful to avoid the eyes. Um, so we're just going to slip it directly onto her head there. So it comes with these gauze strings here. Um, a lot of the time a good trick is to loop one piece of the gauze through the collar here just to help anchor it on. Um, so we're going to tie this in a little bow here. Um, we want to make sure that this isn't too tight. Um, so you're going to give it a little bit of a pull here, um, but we always want to make sure that we can fit at least two fingers under that at all times, just to make sure that that's not too tight for them. Um, and we can tie that up into a bow there. Again, after it's on and secure, always make sure two fingers um, around the entire thing, just to make sure that's not too tight. Um, that should be secure on there, and hopefully we will be leaving that on for as long as the veterinarian has recommended.